This is Power Up a Ground Effect Vehicle, Part 2. If you want to watch the first part, you could do so by clicking the link at the top right corner of this video now. Unlike last time, I was lucky that I didn't have a major crash this time, except that I was flying my GEV into a plane that was larger than mine. And drop my phone onto the model inadvertently. Other than these two small mishaps, I was happily flying or skimming. That's more like it, taking advantage of the ground effect. Well, you've got the idea. When the model turns, it tilts towards the direction it's turning to, just like the real thing. It requires more energy to stay afloat in air when turning than flying straight. I guess this makes sense because when the vehicle tilts, one side of the wing is further away from the floor, which should weaken the ground effect. I imagine the real thing would probably behave in a similar fashion. Okay, I did what I had set out to do, building and flying my first ground effect model. At the designing stage, I guesstimated several potential challenges. First. Having successfully designing and flying a dozen power-up model planes, I knew the module should be powerful enough to power a GEV model. But, would the power be sufficient to overcome the initial contact friction before the airframe starts to generate lift? As soon as putting the model on the floor and ramping up the throttle, I happily found the answer was yes. The smooth and flat gym floor was good for running GEV models. Second, how can a small model to keep getting ground effect rather than flying too high? Small model planes are notoriously unstable and a small and brief change in control input can instantly alter the smooth movement of a small model plane in flight. To augment pitch stability, I made the horizontal stabilizer very big and far away from the center of gravity of the model. And I think the super effective horizontal stabilizer also helps to balance the model despite its presumably different pressure distribution with or without GE. Lastly, since the reverse delta part of the wing has an anhedral, I was afraid that the GEV model would not have good lateral stability when flying high. As a result, I was rather generous in deciding the size of the dihedral sections of the wing. Overall, I am quite happy with the end result. So far, my theories seem to have pointed me in the right directions. I have enjoyed the process of developing my first GEV model as well as the end product. And I hope you did too. Until my next video. Cheers.